Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your Street Fighter V blurry graphics. All download links will be in the description. This is caused by two things, a poor ink effect from Capcom and poor TAA through Unreal Engine. The ink effect is what Capcom uses to give everything its black outline, but it causes blurring of the textures. The TAA is used to get rid of jaggies and aliasing, but it causes further blurring and ghosting. As you can see in the comparison on screen, the blades of grass on the right while much blurrier than the ones on the left, are also showing after images or trails. This is ghosting of the previous frame. This ghosting affects everything on screen, including the fighters, which can make it a little more difficult to read moves, but it's most noticeable here on the grass. We'll be fixing this through a combination of mods to remove these effects and a reshade to add back in better versions of them. A common misconception is that motion blur is what causes the major blurring of the screen, after all it's in the name, but this isn't the case for Street Fighter V. Motion blur is only applied to objects that are rapidly in motion, such as punches or kicks, and while disabling it can provide some clarity to those motions, the majority of the blurring is caused by these two effects. I personally keep it on as I like the visual effect it provides. So let's get started. We'll be installing the mod first. To begin, download Fluffy's Mod Manager. Again, links are in the description. Save it somewhere you can easily find it. Go to where you saved it, right click the folder you downloaded, and extract it. Inside that folder, you should have several files, including the exe for the mod manager itself. You want to take this folder and move it to somewhere you can easily remember. I just put it inside of my Street Fighter V game folder to make everything easy to find in one spot. Now go into the folder and run the Mod Manager EXE. Find Street Fighter V and choose it as your game. You can close the mod manager for now. Next we'll be downloading the mod to remove the outline and texture blurring. Specifically, the No Black Borders mod by Rob Hole. Again, save it somewhere you can easily find it. Extract the folder that you downloaded. Inside this folder, you should see a folder called Stage Mod, and inside of that, a folder called Street Fighter. You want to take this Stage Mod folder and move it to your mod directory. Go into your Mod Manager folder, then into Games, Street Fighter V, Mods, and paste the Stage Mod folder in there. Go back and run the Mod Manager exe again. You will now have the stage mod and click the box to the left of it to enable it. Give it a few seconds to install and then you can close or minimize the mod manager. That's it for the mods, now I'll be installing Reshade. Go to the Reshade website and download it. Save it somewhere you can easily find it. Run the Reshade install exe and click here to choose game. Click browse and locate your Street Fighter V directory. You don't want to choose the first Street Fighter V EXE that you see. Instead, go into the Street Fighter V folder, binaries, Win64, and choose the Street Fighter V EXE in there. This is the true game EXE. Choose Direct 3D 1011, and in the bottom left, Click uncheck all and then check all, scroll down and uncheck legacy standard effects so everything else is still checked. Hit OK and hit OK through the next few screens as it downloads all the effect shaders. Once that's done, you can close the reshade installer. Now download my reshade preset.
Go to where you downloaded it and extract it. Go into that folder and copy the two INIs inside. Go back to your Street Fighter V folder and go to where the true EXE is. Then paste the INIs in there. Now we can run Street Fighter V. Upon starting it, you'll see reshade loading in the top of the window. This is fine. Once this is done, you can press home to open up reshade and you'll be greeted with a quick tutorial. Press continue to finish it. Reshade might freeze as the game is loading up. This is fine. Give it a few seconds and it will unfreeze. Once it's unfrozen, click on the blue bar at the top that says default preset and choose SFV fix only INI. This is my custom preset that you downloaded earlier. You should see Comic, SMAA, and Delk Sharpen enabled. Do not change their load order as it has been optimized. Now we need to fix Reshade's depth buffer. Scroll to the bottom half of Reshade and click on Edit Global Preprocessors. Scroll down to the one that says Reverse and change the 0 to a 1, then click anywhere outside of that box. Reshade will reload. We can also adjust some of the keys to enable or disable reshade on the fly so you can see how it's affecting your game. To do this, go to the settings tab on the top. Then, click on the effect toggle key area and press any key that you want to use. Next, we want to disable the game's built-in TAA. To do this, go to the settings menu, graphic settings, custom, and then turn anti-aliasing down to low. We can also adjust the strength of the outline effect in Reshade. To do this, go into a match and press home to bring up the Reshade menu. Disable and enable the comic shader and you will have its settings pop up in the bottom half of Reshade. You can then adjust the slope value to increase or decrease the line thickness. You can also double click inside of it to type in a value. I have found that 0.65 is a good middle ground. If you want to, you can also disable the shader completely to get a more realistic looking game. As you may have noticed, I also included an SFV RT preset for Reshade. This is a ray tracing preset which makes use of MXAO and Pascal Glitcher's ray tracing shader for Reshade to add more realistic lighting and shading to the characters, as you can see with Chun-Li on screen. This also affects all objects and stages. In order to get access to this though, you do need to subscribe to Pascal Glitcher's Patreon for $5 to get access to his shader, as it is in beta. He will release it for free once it's fully complete, but there is no ETA on that. Thanks for watching!